Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit of an update. Um, I know I said that I wasn't going to do weekly updates anymore, which I'm not really, I'm not going to be doing it every single week. Um, you know, basically when there's an update or when there's something to talk about, then I'm going to come out and make a video. So I'm officially in the second trimester, which is really exciting. Um, I feel like it has taken a really long time to get here. Um, so 14 weeks is where I'm at and I feel really good. Um, yay! yay. <laughs> uh, I'm starting to get my energy back, which is great. Um, I'm sure everybody else can appreciate that as well. Um, I mean, I'm still tired, but nowhere near like I was in the first trimester, especially the le like the last six weeks of it. So from six weeks to 12 weeks was like, I was not about trying to do anything. Um, I mean, I'm feeling really good. I am getting over a cold while an upper respiratory infection. Um, I was sick, well I'm still sick, but I was really sick uh, last week. I went to the doctor and they told me that I had an upper respiratory infection and that I was also pretty dehydrated. Um, that lasted a few days and after that I um, started having earache, um, you know, just a random little sickness, but I'm feeling better. Um, still a little drained from it, but not too bad. Um, so other than that, as far as like feeling goes, I'm feeling a lot better. My energy is definitely coming back little by little. I will say it's not all the way back, but it's coming back. Um, I am not sick as far as like morning sickness. That's been gone for a really long time. I honestly, comparing this to my other pregnancies, I barely even was sick. Um, something that I have been experiencing, I think it started around 11 weeks. Um, really bad pain, uh, sciatic nerve pain. It's, it comes and goes. I can't sit for too long, otherwise I start having the pain. I can't stand for too long because otherwise I have the pain. And I really notice it when I'm um, shop. Like if we're at the store, we went to the uh, we went to Target the other night, and I was hurting pretty bad. Um, just that that uh, pain in the lower back into the left leg or the right leg. Um, that tingling feeling, just real uncomfortable. Um, but it's not. I don't know. I guess because I've dealt with this before, I kind of just am chalking it up as just a pregnancy symptom. It's, I mean, it, it's going to get, it is going to get worse as I get bigger and as the baby gets bigger, pushing on that nerve, it's going to hurt more. Um, but I, I can deal with it. It's a little, nothing compared to what some other people what some other people have to deal with. Um, Elijah, 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 Elijah. Hold Elijah. on a second. He's fine, he's fine. Um, so, what else? Um, I've been feeling the baby moving. I don't feel the baby move every day. Um, and I know that's not anything to worry about at this point because baby is still so small. Um, but I have felt the baby move. I think I felt the baby move around 10 weeks. So I've been feeling it for about a month. Not every day, but you know, I'm, I'm still feeling, feeling it. Well, if you guys watched my last video, uh, you would know that we did find out the gender. Uh, we are having another little boy. So, uh, that's really exciting. Um, we do have a name picked out. I'm not going to share the name right away. Uh, we'll do like a name reveal maybe in a couple weeks. Um, mom life. My son is over there throwing things around. Um, we'll reveal it in a few weeks. We're still trying to um, confirm a middle name. We are going back and forth with all kinds of different middle names. We're not really sure yet. But we <laughs> see him. Where are you? There you are. 
<laughs> um, so yeah, we do have a, a first name picked out and um, we're really excited about that. But just knowing the gender, it's it's such an awesome feeling. Um, as I said in the last video, our uh, gen the genetic testing results came back. Everything's normal, nothing, um, ab no abnormalities, nothing to worry about as far as that goes. So that's exciting. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, we're having another little boy. So it, it's going to be... It's going to be um, really cute to see Elijah have a little brother to grow up with. Um, since Brianna and Elijah and Brianna and this baby are going to be so far apart in age. Um, did you just knock your basketball hoop over? Yeah. You want to come here and say hi? Yeah. Come here. Yeah. Come here. Uh, it's going to be cute to see... Um, Elijah and his little brother grow up together and they'll be only two years apart, almost three, but still, so a nice age in between, age, nice age gap. Come here, you want to say hi? So, Elijah picked out his outfit. Come here. Uh -uh. Come on. Poop. You went poop? Yeah. Oh, he went poop, Daddy. Oh, he did? Okay. Yeah. Come on. Let's get changed. Oh, you stink. Um... So yeah, um, things are going really good. Just, you know, we started buying, well, we've, we started buying diapers and things a few weeks ago. Um, just to start a stockpile. Um, I like to, you know, we like to be prepared. Uh, we like to have everything in order before baby comes. Um, and we actually bought his uh, car seat, his infant car seat the other day. Uh, Jeremy and I just bought another, we had to buy a new vehicle. Um, we needed two vehicles. We were only a one vehicle family for a little while. Um, so we had to buy a new vehicle. Um, and with that, we had to buy a new car seat for Elijah. So we had to buy a car seat for baby boy. Uh, so we did that the other day. Uh, got him a couple outfits and some pajamas and stuff like that so that's really exciting to finally be able to um, buy clothes and and things like that um i feel comfortable enough to um buy start buying things since you know i'm in the second trimester everything has been going smooth baby is healthy so i i don't feel that it's too early to buy anything that's my personal opinion I know some people wait, you know, even longer, but for me, I feel that I'm, it's okay to buy these items. Plus, I want to be prepared. I want to be able to uh, buy it little by little because after we had Elijah, uh, one of our cousins, she had a baby about three to four weeks after him. Um, and then another cousin had a baby boy two months or three months after him. So with that, we, you know, after Elijah, we didn't think we were going to have any more babies. We thought we were done. So we just gave everything away. All of his uh, newborn and, and baby things we gave away. So we're literally starting from scratch again because I didn't have anything saved after Brianna. You know, that was a 10 year gap. I, at that, I really thought I wasn't having any more babies then. Um, so I got rid of all that stuff too. Plus it's, you know, 10 years old, things change. Um, and it was a, a girl to a boy. So rather than try to wait, you know, and get these things last minute, I just like to be prepared to buy little by little. Um, but yeah, we're, you know, we're starting to buy things. Super excited about that. Um, just really happy that everything's been going so smoothly. Um, you know, baby is doing good. I'm doing really good. Uh, I feel really good. I'm, you know, starting to feel better. And, um, yeah, I just, we couldn't ask for a better situation. Um, you know, Brianna was not very happy to find out that I was going to be having another baby. And then she really wasn't too excited about the baby being a boy. She kind of wanted it to be a girl. Um... 
not much we can do about that obviously but I think she'll come around um, she did with Elijah you know now she loves him so much she is obsessed with that little boy so you know other than that I think everything is going smooth perfect um, you know she'll get over it she'll move forward and I tried to tell her you know look you're my own you're our only daughter you're the only girl so to kind of have that sense of specialness or you know because she's the only girl I don't know it's hard with 12 year olds preteens who are moody and emotional so it's like you can never really make them happy but we definitely um, try our best you know um, but yeah we're super excited to start doing all these things making these um, decisions buying things getting stuff ready um, but yeah so that's all I really have for this video uh, I'm in the second trimester I'm feeling good things are going great and uh, baby is a boy so yeah I will I'm not sure when I'll upload next well actually no I take that back I have an appointment this Thursday March 7th so I'll probably upload uh, either Thursday night or Friday in the afternoon um, you have an appointment Thursday, don't you? yeah <laughs> he just said you have an appointment right so I'll probably I'll, I'll definitely try my best to record in there I don't know how well that will work um, but I will fill you guys in on what what happened with that what's going on where we stand and all that um, so yeah uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video um, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.